Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 41, and this is war number nine. And we're going up against an alliance called the Juggernauts. <laughs> Juggernaut! All right, let's see here. Hey, Gallon is not banned. I like you guys already. All right, let's um, dive in here and take a look at their defense. Defense. All right, nobody there. We've got, um, hmm. He doesn't get, um, Immortal Hulk doesn't get armor ups. So he's not going to get any benefit from the node. So honestly, I don't think I need, I can bring in whoever I want, really. Okay. Nimrod. Mm-hmm. Now, this is interesting. I'm thinking uh, Nebula for that one. I could take him. All right. Let's see. Yep, oh, she's got armor ups. That future Ant-Man. Ugh. I'm going to have to talk this over, but I'm thinking I have a little flexibility here. Nebula for that um, Nimrod. And for Immortal Hulk, I, I mean, I like taking Immortal Hulk with uh, Nick Fury, but honestly, I can take him, I think, with, uh, with anyone since he doesn't get an armor up. Yeah. So... I might just look elsewhere and see. Um, I don't know about Shiri. I'll have to ask and and uh, see. But I might I might bring in the overseer anyway. But I may have somebody else, somebody that's really good for her. But overseer might do it. Um, he is shock immune, I think, and nullify immune. No. No, I'm thinking of Hulkling is is uh, shock immune. Hmm. But yeah, I might bring in um, a counter for uh, Shuri as well. And then for these, I might just bring in um, Hulkling. I don't anticipate any issues here because with a uh, Ghost Rider. Because I don't think Ghost Rider gets armor ups. And this one, we just need a, a shock. But I could also use Nebula for that one. So Nebula could take both of those and that mini. So that would free me up for um, to bring in two others. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's look around, look around, see uh, what they've got on defense here. And we'll be talking about it. We really need this win. We're dangerously close to uh, Platinum 3. And uh, we only got uh, this war and three more afterwards. So we need to uh, win so that we are not on that edge right there. But yeah. Um, Nebula is the only one I can say for sure, but I might, might bring in, um, Overseer for, uh, that Shiri, but we'll, we'll see. There may be a better counter for that. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get on with the fighting. All right. We're going in with Hulkling, Gallon. I did decide to bring Gallon. Uh, and El Diablo. And uh, we will get a chance to fight them. And in this war, we actually have some boss action as well. All right. So I'm going in first on the left. 
uh, making a way for my alliance mates. And first fight is against Immortal Hulk, who is not that difficult to fight as long as you know how he works. You know, you can even avoid his uh, immortality. And you're going to see here that I do just that. All right. So I'm buffing up here. Uh, now, this war, we, we're we close to the bottom of Platinum 2. Almost Platinum 3. All right. Uh, so we need to really win this. So here we go. You can see I'm just waiting for him to back up so I can get those pierce um, buffs on me. And now I'm just chewing him up, chewing him up. And the fact that I'm hitting into his block is important. Look at his, um, I guess they're gamma charges. As long as I'm keeping them, I think it's under 16. He's not going to go immortal. So hitting into his block is actually really important because um, I'm not getting a lot of those charges. Now look at this. 14. He's almost dead. Okay, it went to 17, but we did not get the immortality. I'm trying to remember what number it is. Um, I thought it was about 16 or so, but um, of course it could also be uh, my assassin. Is he affected by the assassin? But in any case, I usually can avoid it if I kill him quickly. All right. Now, this is why I brought in Gallon. Against Nimrod on this node especially, Gallon rocks. And so we did not want to play. We did not want to bring in anybody else that may or may not be a good option. Gallon just slays on this node. All right. So check a look at how the fight goes. I don't have to do medium like mediums. I can just do regular attacks. As you see, look at how much uh, I'm building up just that quickly. Okay. And I did have, like I have been having uh, a little bit. Look at that. Do you see how late that heavy was? Trust me. I didn't wait. I didn't sit there and say, hmm, 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 and then do the heavy. I did a parry and did the heavy. And I've had this issue before with him. And I don't know how to fix it. I don't know if I can fix it. But anyway, as you saw, we didn't get punished that time at least. Uh, in the past, when that has happened, they've punished me and, you know, taken me out. But we got fortunate uh, right there. Nice, easy fight. Easy fight. Made more spicy because of the input issues. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, and we're moving on here. Now, I want to tell you guys something. At this point in time, right here, already... We know we've lost this war. I don't know what happened, but we just dropped the ball hard. You will see at the end how many deaths. Now, a lot of those deaths are because at this point, we're just going to save items. So what you're going to see here is mainly because I wanted to save items. But this right here got me. All right. So I want you to watch this. And, and it surprised me. Look at this. He got an armor up. Look at my health. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't notice because I didn't remember Cosmic Ghost Rider getting an armor up. If I had remembered that, you know, I could have maybe tried to play around it, wait till it, you know, but I, I was too busy going in. And by the time I saw my, my health going down, I was already into my combos. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Because again, I already knew we were going to uh, lose this war. At this point in time, they have such a big lead on us. There's just no way. There's just no way. Um, one of my alliance mates got trapped. And uh, um, I believe uh, it was waiting for backup. Uh, and, and yeah, it, it, was, it was ugly. Uh, a lot of people apparently just, I don't know. I, I really don't know what happened. You know, if you watched our, our previous war, you saw us at our best. Well, this seems to be us at our worst. Maybe we ran out of steam. I don't know. 
And then I was mad at myself here for going in with, uh, don't ask about that, um, for going in with Diablo and not doing the null uh, pre-fight because I already knew that he was going to um, get an armor up, although I didn't see one there. But El Diablo took him down. So I'm like, all right, well, let's just keep on moving. And you're not going to see me heal up at all. I'm not using any uh, healings because, again, no, we've already lost. And uh, at the most, I'll use some, uh, you know, 40% revives. There's no point in wasting uh, loyalty at this point. Um, and, and it's gonna, it's gonna be bad, uh, because after we lose this war, um, we really need to win the last few wars of the season or else we're going to end up in a uh, platinum three. That's, that's, uh, the bottom line. Now in my last Alliance, that's where I was platinum three. Now I played this one wrong. Um, but again, you know, I was kind of demoralized since I knew we were going to lose and I'm just like, whatever. Uh, so I'm not playing quite right um, because, you know, she gets her armor ups when you do the same um, action, I guess, in a row. So I should be doing, you know, medium, light, medium, light, something like that. Uh, maybe heavy attacks. Um, now, she got the uh, auto block, but I was able to get the um, unblockable. But then she just took me out. And again, I'm just like, whatever. You can see over there uh, a bunch of oranges. Yeah. So, again, already knew that we were not winning this war. So, I'm just, uh, I got plenty uh, items left. Let's just get through it. And uh, I'm just like, Ugh. the only reason that I was annoyed, I don't like losing anyway, period. And this just made it take longer for me to get through. You know, I had already claimed uh, a fight on Boss Island. And uh, maybe that was bad luck. I don't usually claim um, Boss Island fights. Uh, because I, I prefer to have leadership. You know, if they see that I have a good counter... You know, they can tell me, hey, can you take this guy out? Um, so look at this. She just tearing me up. Don't don't ask me why. I'm just, you know, at this point, I'm just like, whatever. Um, but it is annoying me still. Uh, anyway, uh, when I did that fight against Korg on the stunning reflection, and most of you already know how I feel about that node. Uh, so you know I wasn't volunteering for it, but... I was asked to do it. I had a Diablo, so I did it. That's pretty much how I like to do things. Um, I, I try to focus on my path and the minis over there, and I'll claim which ones I can do. And if I can do more minis, you know, or if I have room to, to be able to take all the minis, I'll do that to give my Alliance mates more leeway for their paths and possibly Boss Island if they have... Um, a good counter. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> I decided to take this Korg. Now, I want you guys to watch this fight. Remember I said I wasn't gonna heal, okay? We've got planetary endurance to deal with. And um, I thought, I, I can't remember. I think I, um, yeah, no, no. I, I thought about doing one of the pre-fights, but then I was like, nah, whatever, all right? So this is how I fight Korg. There are people that fight Korg better than I do. But I want you to watch El Diablo go. He is a really good... I didn't realize how good of a Korg counter he was. All right? Now, because of the node and all that good stuff, you know, I have to bait out a little bit more because you can see here he fired a special two and still had a special one. So this actually helps me out a little bit because the special two is much easier to evade, but I can also evade the special one. 
And as you can see, he was at a, a special one still. And I decided to fire that special three off while his shield was down. Look at the damage. Also, keep watch on Diablo's health. Remember how much I had when I started this fight? I didn't heal. But look at Diablo. Look at his health. Diablo is a beast. Okay. I I I I think he is one of the better um reworks that they have done. Alright, boom, boom, boom. Thanks, Dorky Diggity Day, for teaching me how to evade that. Look at that. Ba Bam. Look at my health, guys. Compare it to what I had when I started so that you can see that Diablo is, he, uh, he's not just friendly to, to the uh, ouchy masteries. All right, so again, we already know we lost this war. Um, and I was asked to help out with the boss. Uh, one of my alliance mates also had Diablo and went in, but he's not, um, he said this, he's not a, a great Diablo uh, player. And you saw there, I was clicking it. That's why I had to go out and come back in. I was clicking it and it wasn't moving. And I'm like, oh boy, am I gonna have some more issues? But anyway, so I have not healed, but I have whatever health I left the last fight with. And we're gonna see how I can do. Um, I don't think I have fought Nova with Diablo before, especially not on the boss node. So I'm just like, okay. And I'm looking here and I'm like, you know what? Diablo's a little bit hurt. Let's let's uh, give him a little bit of a pre-fight. Now, I didn't know this, but I think they put the uh, white mags, I think they did a white mags um, um, pre-fight on it. I could be wrong. They may have done it after um, or before or after. I'm not sure because it didn't seem like he had it on him, but somebody mentioned the um, white Magneto pre-fight. Maybe they were talking about it, but didn't do it. All right, so what I want to do here, as you can see, his health is ticking, ticking, ticking away. All right, um, I want to get to the special three. I like the special three. All right, I can evade his special two as long as the inputs allow me. Now that special right there, look at that, what was that? I was bad. I was so pissed at this point. I'm like, are you kidding me? But don't sleep on El Diablo. He took a licking, but he's not dead yet. Look at this, bam. So now I'm awake. And I'm just like, nah, nah, bro. Mm -mm. We ain't playing this. We are not playing this. So I don't know what happened there. Um, Y'all can decide how y'all think that happened, but you can see I'm going. And look at his health. Yeah. Don't sleep on El Diablo. Come on, Diablo. You got him on the ropes. Get him, get him. Go ahead, let him get another one out. Oh, what, what, what's this? What's that again? Come on, man. You know, uh, uh, doom. tell you. Man, that'd be pissing me off. Them inputs drive me nuts. But El Diablo still came through. That's a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Anyway, we'll be right back in a moment, and you'll find out, as we all know, how this war ended. And we're back, and you can see... We lost just like we knew we would. Let me show you guys. Look at that. Look at the defender kills. So we knew we had lost this one. Now, a lot of those kills didn't count. And a lot of those kills were because we already knew we were going to lose. And you already saw, you know, I wasn't healing, wasn't, uh, you know, doing anything like that. Uh, so a lot of those happened toward the end when we already knew this war was lost and, uh, we were told, but we still have to 100% it, even though it's going to be a loss. 
So save items and let's just go. Uh, we're we're um, at the bottom of uh, Platinum 2. So, yeah, we need to win the last few wars or else we are going to slip down. Of course, there's always a chance that some... Uh, you know, doxing or, or you know, docking would would uh, go on with some of the alliances above us. Never know. Uh, there have been a couple of band waves and it's still going on. So you never know. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this war. And you all have a blessed day.